Hi there. Uh, you want another question, and I'm the man to come to for the questions. Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. What good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? The answer to today's question is pretty simple. There's no good that can come to a man who forfeits his soul in, in pursuit of other things. But that doesn't stop people from seeking to fill their spiritual void with things including money, relationships, or other pleasures. That includes people who have made a faith commitment to Christ, but stop short of making a full life commitment to his kingdom. Many act like they will live forever, but they will not. And one day they will have to answer for how they invested their life. Now, where is your main priority in life? Are you investing as much or more in your spiritual growth than your physical life? Do you give God his time on Sunday and you take the rest? Or do you devote some daily energy to feed and strengthen your spiritual being? Read how Solomon gained the whole world but forfeited his soul in 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 1 through 6. In fact, let's look there. I mean, Solomon had everything, had prayed, and God gave him wisdom. But it says he loved many foreign women besides Pharaoh's daughters. They were from nations about which the Lord had told the Israelites you are not to intermarry with them. Nevertheless, Solomon held fast to them in love. He had 700 wives of royal birth and 300 concubines, and his wives led him astray. As Solomon grew old, his wives turned his heart after other gods, gods and his heart was not fully devoted to the Lord his God as the heart of, his, of David his father had been. What a sad commentary. Had everything, yet gave his heart away to other gods. Read 1 Kings 11 in its entirety, and then determine to finish well by seeking God all the days of your life. That's it for today. Come on back tomorrow, and I just may have another question for you then. So long.